You guys, there's a brand new series of Vampirella that Dynamite has just put out this week. In fact, it gave me a great idea to start Gay Nerd Pun's Pick of the Week. So to kick things off for the very first episode of Pick of the Week, I have picked Vampirella number one, written by Kate Leth and art by Iman Casayos. I hope I'm pronouncing those names right. Nancy Collins restarted Vampirella with a number one a couple years ago, and the first volume of that is pretty good, but I read the second volume, which is... Oh shit, what was it called? It wasn't A Murder of Crows, because I read that one. God Save the Queen! There's even a super hot werewolf who, like, fulfills the damsel in distress role that Vampirella is always having to save, which is adorable, because everybody loves a helpless werewolf. And anyway, if you haven't read God Save the Queen, read it, because it's so fun. That said, this brand new kickoff number one issue does not discredit the previous events of that storyline. As a matter of fact, I audibly squealed when Tristan the lovable werewolf showed up on the second or third page. If you've never read Vampirella before, you don't need to. This is a great jumping on point. She starts off the issue moving to Los Angeles. In fact, the issue begins on a film shoot of a horror movie, although of course things aren't always what they seem in a Vampirella comic. So certain things go awry, which I won't spoil, but uh, Vampirella relocates to Los Angeles with her adorable werewolf beau, Tristan. Stop talking about the werewolf so much. I have a, I have a crush on a werewolf. No, that's I have a crush on a werewolf. Okay. And they're there on the scene to investigate. She's super sassy, which I love Vampirella when she's sassy. I mean, she's at her best when she's sassy, let's be honest. New city, new boyfriend, new costume. They don't have the string bikini anymore, which by the way, they do reference it. And the use they have for it now makes a lot more sense. Uh, it's, a, it's delightful for anyone who's been a fan of Vampirella, but maybe not always found the string bikini to be the most practical uh, crime-fighting outfit. If you like hot babes, hot dudes, vampires, monsters in general, or satire about LA culture, then it looks like this new series is uh, definitely one for you. Whether you prefer to read digitally or in print, I highly encourage you to check out Vampirella number one in stores now. Thank you Kate and Iman and everyone at Dynamite for bringing Vampirella back in such a fun, fresh way. Uh, longtime fans like me are really enjoying this and I hope that all of you watching who maybe haven't checked out Vampirella before will check out this new issue. So uh, go check out Vampirella number one and let me know what you think. This concludes Gay Nerd Puns Pick of the Week. Enjoy your comics.